Julian Robertson, thanks for having us. Kelly, thank you for coming. A lot has happened since we spoke last. The tax cuts were passed in the U.S. The president just got back from meeting with the leader of North Korea, which is hard to believe that we're even talking about, and a zillion other things. Um, I wanted to begin by asking you about something that your good friend Paul Tudor Jones said this week on CNBC. Uh, he said he thinks interest rates are going higher and stock prices are going a lot higher too. Do you agree with him on that? Um, I, well, I, I, I haven't heard Paul articulate that, but I'd love to hear it. Um, I think that there's a very good chance of that happening into next year. Um, and uh, uh, I'm sort of positioned accordingly. Um, I think next year um, we could uh, have uh, an advance in uh, uh, interest rates to the point where the Fed would uh, begin to slow down a little bit. And um, uh, so we, uh, uh, you know, that would, I, I think it is possible that we could uh, put a little uh, something that would put the fire back a little mm -hmm. um, in, in, in terms of the interest rates. But I think they are going hard for a while and, uh, um, and we'll have to take another look uh, sometime in the first quarter of next year. What do you think about the economy overall and the job the president's doing? Well, I think the president is, um, has done a, a, a reasonably good job. I, uh, it's, it's not a job that a dose of humility wouldn't improve, but uh, it, is, it is a good job. And I don't think he's gotten as much credit and as he should, and for the job he's doing, and I think that uh, uh, the perfect example uh, is the uh, North Korean thing, um, which got mammoth publicity until they got together, and is now just sort of dropped by the press. What do you make of that meeting between the two leaders? Well, I've hardly been able to read anything about it. Um, but uh, I think it's a momentous event regardless and a, a very worthy effort. And hopefully it will do some good. And going back to his job on the economy, this president, the tax cuts are now passed. That's helped corporate earnings. Can it last? Oh, I think it can last. I think it's not only helped corporate earnings, it's helped, uh, uh, it's helped earnings of the middle class tremendously. And uh, um, I think they are very appreciative of this tax uh, cut. And um, uh, I think eventually we are going to, you know, have to have some restrictions, but for a while things should flow along beautifully. Would you elect this president to a second term? Um, I, 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 I think this president needs a better de demeanor. I think he needs more humility. I think uh, he should be more of a moral standard bearer for the, for the nation. But as a chief executive, I think he's done an excellent job. All right. What do you think about the Federal Reserve right now? Um, we, met there, we talked about uh, interest rates going higher. Um, should they be more aggressive? I mean, look how low, you talked about how good it's been for the middle class and how low the unemployment rate has been. Are they, are they getting behind the curve here? I don't think so. I think they're doing a very good job of this thing. And uh, I just uh, hope they uh, won't be overly frightened when their own policies uh, cause uh, a, a, a slowdown of some sort. How far do you think we are from that slowdown? I think uh, at least six months and hopefully uh, two years. Do you think things look as kind of frothy, especially in tech stocks, as they did in the 90s? I don't think tech, uh, that, that's one thing where I differ from the rest of the world. I don't think t uh, the fangs or the tech stocks are uh, frothy.
frothy at all. I think relative to the rest of the market, uh, never have stocks been this cheap. Uh, this is one advantage that an old goat has. Back in the 80s, um, the firm I worked for, Kidder Peabody, had uh, something called the, um, uh, the uh, Golden 50s or... The Nifty 50s. Nifty 50s. And, and uh, uh, these were stocks that sold uh, from 50 to 80 times earnings. And uh, there was a huge amount of them. Um, none of them of the caliber of Google, Facebook, um, and uh, Microsoft and those companies. What about Netflix, which does trade at a higher multiple than that? Um, I, 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 I think Netflix is a great company, too. I don't have known that. And also this week, we just uh, had the ruling that will allow AT&T to buy Time Warner and potentially reshape the media landscape. And AT&T's argument was, look, Netflix also produces original content and distributes it. Why shouldn't we be able to do the same thing? Do they have a point? I'm not up on that particular thing. After that ruling, they said, you know, Amazon might now buy some of the Fox assets or, you know, geez, maybe Netflix does more um, in the media space. As a shareholder, do you favor those kinds of acquisitions? I, I don't know anything about that, really. What about in tech more broadly? You mentioned Microsoft, Facebook, and Google. Are those names you're still willing to hold for the time for a long time? Very definitely. I mean, they they they, they probably sell on average somewhere uh, uh, under. Uh, a 20% premium to the market. Um, that's not terribly high uh, for the greatest companies in the world. Any 25, say. Sure. Any concerns about Facebook's data privacy issues, regulatory threats to its business model, just its sheer size? Well, that the, the sheer size, I think, is definitely a negative factor. But I think that's amply taken care of in the uh, price of the stock. And what about the fact that we're about to see companies like Apple, maybe Amazon next, hit a trillion dollar market valuation? We've never seen that before. Well, we're going, we, we, you know, probably our ancestors never saw them a quarter that big. And, uh, you know, as progress goes, they're going to come. I mean, after all, you know, it wasn't too long ago when Facebook came public. I mean, these were young people, and what they've accumulated and done in a short period of time is just amazing. And I think uh, uh, they've been criticized tremendously uh, because they haven't uh, been probably as uh, efficient in um, secrecy as they should be, but um, they have certainly apologized for it and certainly they are good people. Uh, uh, early in the game, Zuckerberg uh, poured money into uh, Newark, New Jersey uh, charter schools and uh, really helped get that whole area underway. I'm, I'm a big fan of a lot of these people uh, that are in uh, these kind of companies. So you support Mark Zuckerberg still leading Facebook into the future. He's not too young or too inexperienced or too overwhelmed at this point. No, I mean, he's probably 25% older than when we first saw him. Give all that money, he's more than that, uh, older than when he gave his money to um, Newark. Yeah, and he's uh, you know he's got Sheryl Sandberg in there too. So <laughs> yeah, um, she's certainly no dope at all. Um, Want to ask you about NAFTA for just a moment? In the past, you've said Air Canada is one of your favorite stocks, um, and while I know you're saying you support a lot that the president has done here, do you have concerns about a breakdown in NAFTA? Um, I I think there will be some breakdowns in. Uh, uh, probably NAFTA, um, and I don't think that's the end of the world. 
On the other hand, um, I think Air Canada at three times uh, next year's cash flow is not an expensive stock. And it's a beautifully run, uh, good company. And uh, the fact that uh, uh, the cash flow is uh, going to be 30%, I think speaks well for it. <laughs> what do you think about the U.S. airlines? Anything there that's compelling to you as it was to Warren Buffett last year? Um, I, 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 I uh, am, am, am wild about Ryan. Uh, Ryan Air in, in the Europe. The European one. Uh, and uh, love Air Canada. Um, I don't have that many favorites in the U.S. right now. Is that true for U.S. stocks broadly? We talked about some of the, you know, the tech names that you like, but do you see more opportunities abroad right now? No, I, I, I really generally see more uh, opportunities here. I just think that uh, airlines are a special thing, and I think uh, uh, Air Canada and uh, Ryan are special. What about the banks? J.P. Morgan, Bank of America, names you still like? Love them. And... Um, uh, they are very, very reasonable in relation to earnings. And uh, uh, I think uh, uh, we see them creeping up on uh, uh, huge cash flow yields uh, uh, next year and uh, thereafter. And uh, uh, I think the banks are in terrific shape. And I love uh, J.P. Morgan. and. Uh, Bank of America. Just those two? Or? No, I like a lot of them. Uh, that's where my money is, but um, there are others I like and will probably put some money in some other ones too. Would a name like Goldman, for example? I, w I would think Goldman would be a very good name. Morgan Stanley? And Morgan Stanley, both, uh, 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 definitely. I mean, they're, they're, I mean, I would call them investment banks. But I, I certainly would call them attractive banks, whether investment or otherwise. And regional banks, the smaller players? Uh, I don't see much need to get involved in those when you've got all these great big ones. The big ones have had, they have trading now. That's uh, been a concern the last couple of years, but maybe that's starting to look better. There's also people saying because of the, again, this uh, AT&T ruling this week, there's going to be a ton of deals and that they'll benefit from being investment bankers. Is that part of it, or do you just think they're cheap enough that you like them anyway? I love them without the money they're going to make on the investment banking. <laughs> Very good. Um, one thing on Paul Tudor Jones I wanted to go back to, he is launching this ETF, ticker JUST, um, aimed at uh, promoting companies that are good on environmental, social, and, and governance issues. And in promoting this uh, this ETF, he also said he thinks that capitalism needs some updating. Do you share that point of view? I, 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 I do, and I, I, I think Paul Tudor Jones, uh, he's known as a great investor, but I think the greatest thing about Paul is he's an honest and true do-gooder, and uh, I think he's doing this just situation as a project that will uh, long-term uh, help the best companies in America. Is it the kind of thing you would yourself invest in? <laughs> yes. Why not do something yourself then that says, okay, let's find companies by these metrics and, you know, and get active on that front right away? Well, uh, frankly, uh, uh, I've, 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 I think Paul's better, probably a better man for it than I am, and uh, uh, I've helped with Paul a little. <laughs> um, I noticed that Twitter is a, a holding that you guys like. It's done extremely well this year. Um, do you use Twitter yourself? No, I'm incapable. <laughs> the, the president and plenty of other people do, though. I'm the president and almost everybody else uses Twitter and all of these things, but uh, uh, I, um, I, 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 uh, I, I don't. You like it as, 
It's long, longer term prospects, though? I don't know Twitter. It's small. That's what people say. They don't know if it can be part of that next echelon. What about the, the next crop of companies coming out of Silicon Valley that are about to go public? Uber, Airbnb, their growth in some ways is already slowing. Are these companies you'd be eager to invest in publicly? I, I just don't know that much about them. Uh, I, uh, I think Airbnb has been very successful as a uh, startup company. Uh, I'm not sure that's true of Uber, but um, uh, I'm certainly going to look at them when they come public. And do you think they've taken too long to go public? I, I can't judge that. What, meaning that do you think the public still has access to, we talked about how it, quickly Facebook has grown since it listed. Are people missing out on that opportunity because now they can stay private for so long these days? Well, I, 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 I think, um, um, anyway, I, I love Facebook and, and I'm going to take a hard look at Uber when it comes and, uh, and a very hard look at um, the um, household uh, hotelier. Yeah, Airbnb as Airbnb. well. You're not going to list on Airbnb, are you? You're not, you're, we're not going to find Julian Robertson listing on, you know, we can come <laughs> crash at your pad. I don't think that's coming down the pike. Um, just going back to stock prices in general, um, so, so when people say, look, this expansion has gone on for 10 years and you know, stock prices have gone up so much already and, and how much more can it keep going, um, do you have any of those concerns? Well, I think you have to look at the ones that are reasonable in relationship to their growth. And I think these so-called fangs, the Microsofts, uh, and um, the ones we've been talking about, uh, have have growth rates that uh, belie their multiples. And do you think the Chinese internet names are attractive as well? Um, I'm not that familiar with all of them, but uh, I, I, I would certainly uh, put. Um, uh, some in that category. What about Amazon? I haven't asked you about that one specifically. I am a long term, I, I, I'm a little bit of a holdout on Amazon. I just don't know it that well. Yeah, well, it hasn't made a lot of money in the past, but it's well, starting it, to now. But it certainly made a lot of money for a shareholder. Yes, yes, it's done extremely well. Um, extremely well. So if interest rates go up, does, is that a threat to these tech names and how well they're doing? Well, I think it's somewhat of a, uh, of a threat uh, to the economy and all of that if interest rates uh, go wild, but I think the likelihood is they will not go wildly up and uh, we'll be able to live through this. Well, finally, final thing then, if, you were, uh, if your grandchildren came to you for advice, for example, and said, you know, what should I invest in? Is it Bitcoin? Is it... Airbnb, you know, is it Facebook today? What, what would you tell them? It would be Facebook. It would be uh, Bank of America. It would be uh, uh, certainly, um, uh, let's see what uh, I was uh, sort of contemplating here. And certainly JP Morgan, probably Citigroup, which is reasonably priced. Uh, but um, uh, those three would be, those, uh, those would be things I would be very active on. I'd buy the airlines in addition to these other things, uh, some of the good ones. And um, uh, uh, I, think, I think there is a lot to uh, choose from and uh, uh, I, I still feel pretty good about things. Uh, I, and I think uh, the Federal Reserve has been smart to uh, uh, raise interest rates, is going to continue to raise them uh, uh, for the next uh, six or seven months. And um, uh, I think we look pretty good. That's a good place to leave it. <laughs> Julian, thank you so much. Thank you. Really appreciate Kelly, it. Kelly, I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> thank, thank you. you. 
Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.